Good morning, kids, and happy Sabbath. How are you today? Yes, you must be very happy because today is a special day. It's Sabbath day. And today, I and Uncle Rio are going to share a story entitled God's Craftsmanship that is inspired by two people from the Bible. Their names are Bezalel and Aholiab. Have you ever heard or read about them? This story is taken from the book of Exodus 31, verse 1 to 6, and Exodus 35, verse 30 to 35. You can read those chapters again later with your parents. This story took place during the Israelite journey from Egypt to the Promised Land. There was a time when God instructed Moses to build a mobile sanctuary. And this is how the story goes. Moses came down from the mountain after spending 40 days with God on Mount Sinai. And he gathered all the Israelites and told them that God wanted them to build a tabernacle. God has also chosen two persons to help in the construction of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord hath called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. The Lord also gave him a helper, Aholiah, the son of Isinamar, from the tribe of Dan to teach their crafts to others. God filled them with wisdom of heart. Therefore, Bezalel and his helper, Aholiah, got the list of instruction from Moses and started working on the tabernacle. So kids, from that story, how can we use our talents for God? God has given each of us talents and abilities to do certain things well, even if others have the same talent you have. Your talent is special because you are unique with different strengths and weaknesses, likes and dislikes, the way you were brought up, the help and encouragement you get from others are even the hardship in your life, the difficulties can help to develop abilities you may not even know you had. If you are wondering whether God could actually use your abilities, remember that he made you the way he wanted you to be. He put everything inside you that you will ever need to please him. God is not waiting for you to be perfect. He wants to use you right now, just the way you are, kids. And in case you thought you don't have a talent, remember that whatever you are good at is your God-given talent. It can be singing, writing, reading, speaking, giving, serving, etc. Use your abilities for his glory. Humbly honor God when you are praised and look for ways to help and encourage others. Our memory verse for today 
is taken from the book of Ephesians 2, verse 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful story. Please help us to use our talents and abilities to please you. Please forgive our sin. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. That is all kids for today. We hope that we can share you story next time. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.